This is happening. I'm vlogging. I'm recording a vlog. This is for real. This is a thing. This is a thing that's happening. Because I'm a vlogger. That's what I do. I, I vlog. So, this is happening. So, welcome to the vlog. Hey y'all! If you clicked on this video, you probably did it for one of two reasons. The first reason being that you just love me. Or the second reason being that you saw the title was something like how to have a positive birth experience or something like that. Whatever reason you clicked on the video, I'm super excited that you're here. I just wanted to make a video where I shared with you four or five things that I have found to help make a birth experience positive. I've had two drastically different birth experiences. I had a hospital induction and then I had a home birth with a midwife and they were very like polar opposite, couldn't be any more different. I had successes and failures with both. Um, I learned things I will never do again, I will know. And I've learned things that I would like to have at my next birth should we have more children. I just wanted to share this with you, I made a list. So number one, have a birth plan. If you're watching this video, it's likely that you're pregnant or you know somebody who's pregnant, in which case, yes, yay, that's awesome. You're doing hard things. You are growing tiny humans and you are gonna birth that tiny human and you are gonna feed that tiny human and you are gonna raise a tiny human and you are just awesome and capable and a powerful being for that, so yay. Make a birth plan. Make sure you have a birth plan. Make sure you research birth and you know what it is that you want to happen at your birth. Research hospital birth. Research home birth. Talk to your doctor. Talk to a midwife. Talk to a doula. Talk to a birth coach. Um, talk to other moms. Read birth stories. Read, find out the risks and benefits of different interventions during labor. Um, know if you want people there, if you don't want people there. Do you want pain medication? Do you not want pain medication? Figure out what it is that you want as a birthing mom and then make it very clear to your care provider, anybody who may attend your birth, hang it on your refrigerator, give it to your neighbor down the street, give it to your grandma, uh, just make it known what you want to happen at your birth because that is very important. Birth can be very unpredictable and not go according to plan. So it's good to know what we want when we have to take those, those detours, we know what, what we wanna fall back on. We have other plans kinda of in, in the way. And so it's just very good. My birth plan with my um, first daughter at the hospital was basically, I'm gonna get an epidural and it's gonna be great. It wasn't, it was, it really wasn't that great. So don't do that. Don't be me. Don't be me kids. Make a birth plan. You will not be sad that you did. You will not be sad that you did do that. And then the second thing is find a care provider who um, cares about you as a birthing mom, who cares about your wants and your needs and respects that and cares about you as the mother and the baby's safe delivery. A lot of times in this country and I guess worldwide anywhere really, there's a lot of healthcare providers who sadly just consider birthing moms just a, another thing to check off the list before they get to go home for the day. And you don't want that in somebody delivering your child. You don't want that as your care provider. You want somebody who is going to be respectful of you and your needs and your wants. And so um, make sure that you have that in a care provider. It's okay to switch care providers in the middle of your pregnancy. With my son, I went from having a um, planned hospital birth to a planned home birth right at 20 weeks. I switched to a midwife and I am so glad that I did. I actually also switched my, um, my, to switched my OBGYNs as well. I just didn't honestly feel as respected or as taken seriously. And so it's okay to do that. It's okay to um, switch healthcare providers at any point during your pregnancy. Your well-being and what you want matters the most. So make sure you get you a healthcare provider who cares about you. I will say the midwife that I worked with is one of the coolest humans that I've ever met on this planet. And she made sure that I was first priority. And I just loved her very much and just, I would just do it again. So yeah, healthcare providers matter. The third 
thing is, I think this is very important, a very important thing. I don't care if you plan to have a scheduled cesarean section in the hospital, or if you're gonna go on the top of a mountain, squat in the breeze, and bring forth your new life there. I don't care what it is. Make sure you do this one, because you will not regret this either. It's just like having a birth plan. You will not regret this either. Take a birth class. Um, take a birth education class. It is so important. You are not gonna look back on your life and be like, man, I really hate that we did that. No, you're gonna be like, I'm so glad that we did that. No matter what, no matter if you are planning a cesarean, um, it's, it's invaluable. They're gonna teach you what is happening in your pregnancy, what's happening as the baby grows, what your body is doing, what the baby is doing. Um, it's gonna teach you what your body does during the birth process, during all the stages of labor, pushing, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're gonna teach you pain management techniques that you can do, that your partner can help you with, um, relaxation techniques. You're gonna learn the risks and benefits of all the interventions um, that they may use to help bring forth your, your baby into the world. Um, you're just gonna learn a lot. You're gonna learn what your body is doing. You're gonna learn why it's doing what it's doing. And that's also gonna help you work with your body when that time comes to birth your baby. So I will just say it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Uh, take a birth class. I had an awesome instructor and unfortunately it was during COVID so it was like Zoom. It was like a Zoom class but it was still fine. She was great and I love her very much. Um, find you find you a birth class. You will not regret that you did that. Number four. Uh, the fourth thing I was going to say is your support system. Make sure that you have a good support system. I mean that does start with your healthcare provider but you may want um, more support during your birth experience. I know that a doula can be amazing. Um, if you don't know what a doula is, it's somebody who's trained in um, labor support. They're gonna be there to help you with your pain management. They're gonna be there to encourage you, empower you. They're gonna be there to call the midwife when they need to call the midwife, when you can't talk. They're gonna talk for you. They're gonna be your voice. They're gonna do exactly what you want. They're gonna respect you, put you first, do all things to put birthing mama up there they are trained in a, a lot of them are trained in what to do and like you know the baby's coming uh what do i do they can catch a baby they you know they're <laughs> invaluable and probably way more than i even know to say but doulas are great and i did not have a doula at any of my births but if we have more children i will definitely be hiring me a doula because i have attended a birth where a doula was present and she was amazing and I've just seen so many birth stories and videos and you need that support. And coming as a mom who didn't really have a bunch of people at my last birth, at my home birth, um, I will say that I will have a doula and I'm also going to allow my kids to be there and maybe some more family and just, I didn't have what, I, looking back I wish I had, had allowed more. It was me, I was very closed off and didn't want to allow a lot of people but now my mindset has changed you want the support that you want so make sure that you're open to that and it's gonna be it's it's amazing support makes a difference and you just do it do it just do it just do it <laughs> the last thing is definitely this makes a big difference and I have failed in both pregnancies with this to some degree but hope if we ever have any more children to really up my game in this um, but it's really you need to take care of yourself in your pregnancy. You need to make sure that you're getting the protein, you're eating the nutrient rich food, you're taking all the supplements, you're doing what you need to do for yourself, you're staying hydrated, you're getting exercise because you know labor is comparable to a marathon, right? You want to go into labor ready. And you know, how do you train for a marathon? You don't just get off the couch and you go run a marathon. You know, you train for it and you um, keep conditioning your body and so you want to do that and take take those prenatals take those vitamins because your baby is taking a lot from you so take your prenatals take uh eat the protein eat all the good stuff log your diet do do what you need to do for yourself your health comes first so um yeah that was a mouthful wasn't it <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share, like I said, some of those things that I found helpful um, to ha make a 
a, a positive birth experience happen and that's always the goal is to have a positive outcome and a healthy mom a healthy baby and so I hope you like this video and if you want to see more birth related content please comment below subscribe to the channel all this kind of stuff this is kind of my foot in the water test on because uh, yes this is happening so anyway let me know i would love to do more and i will catch you guys in the next video bye